having a label that has this whole kind of look, this whole numbering system, this whole ethos, this whole idea behind it, that, that's, that's, that's genius, that, you know. It was almost like uh, the label was like a band. It had, it had a manifesto, which, which a lot of labels didn't have at the time. Never have perished on that private plane journey. Punk musician and author John Robb says the survey shows nothing new, but should act as a warning. And I think a lot of people crave fame, especially in celebrity culture. It's like, it must be something really exciting. And yes, and I think for a lot of people, it is, it is a buzz to be famous. Also, the big mistake a lot of people make is try and live up to their public image 24-7, which I think utterly burns people out. I think as people get older in music, they realise you, you just do one thing on stage and one thing off stage. That's what people at like Iggy Pop do, you know. Iggy doesn't walk around the st street like he does on stage. And now there's a new generation appearing to fall foul of the trappings of the industry. You shouldn't be scared of getting old, and that's the whole, the whole this culture. There's a fear of being old. But I'm interested in the old people, aren't Because they've got something to offer, you know. Now one in ten children aspire to be rock stars. It prompted the X Factor to drop its age limit from 16 to 14. I particularly liked the band. They saw them play, just thought he could actually get on stage. It's something he'd always wanted to do. And people like Hooky saw, saw them and they thought, they can't play, I'll just go, I can, I can just go and play now. So he went out and bought himself a bass the next day. For me, it was like... The ideas, and he, and he says them in a really, really pretentious way, and that's what rubs people up the wrong way. But I think that's quite cool as well, because everyone should just be themselves, you know what I mean? The space in punk rock for people to be really, really dumb was also the space in punk rock for people to be really, really intellectual as well. You know the people... Be uh. It was ostentatious, it was too big for the city, and it, it was style over content, all those kind of things you could level a factory, were not strictly true, but the Hassan there was that, it was, it, was, it was factory records in bricks and mortar. I like, I like to think of like the Big Bang, like the universe, it all starts, something about that big, doesn't it, like absolutely tiny fingers, bang, and it's just the whole universe comes out of that, I mean, your head can't understand that, so why should your head ever bother trying to understand the Sex Pistols gig? <laughs> it's the same kind of thing, it was, it was our Big Bang, it, was, it created our musical universe. Gangs were at war over the drug market, and one of the biggest outlets was down at the Hacienda. With drugs, you get gangs. With drugs, you get gangsters. That's the way it is. There's millions of pounds to be made on the drugs. People, I mean, you don't buy them in a corner shop. <laughs> you, you got to, they're all listed where they're coming in. The sun is worth millions, and when it's worth millions, other people are going to get interested, aren't they? Different kind of businessmen will get interested in this kind of uh, transaction, and then they'll start fighting over it, and that's what started to happen. When we... Factory Records got a really fantastic catalogue, which when you, when you go back and listen to it, it's got loads of great gems in there. Bands like Section 25, amazing, you know. You know, not, it's not just Joy Division, it's the smaller bands that make it really interesting. Uh, these sort of things. He's a spokesman of his generation, and he'll hate anybody for saying that, you know, because... Because it's managed to people don't like that kind of crap up here, you know. It's less, people want to debunk the myth all the time, it's like... You know, but, but, but the lyrics he was singing directly communicate with that audience. You go to a club, take this pill, and you'd have like six hours of like amazing fun, and that's that's why uh, that's why that worked, and it was it was the best known space for it. Everyone just poured in. What do you think about the drug ecstasy? <laughs> Brilliant. And suddenly it had this incredible atmosphere. So where else have been the year before? Been this really freezing cold place with water dripping from the roof. Suddenly it's like the hottest place you've ever been, and absolutely packed. People just dancing on the walls, swinging from the roof. You see the pictures of it now; it's insane. You can't even work out what the floor is, and that's what it's like at the time.